Joining me now is International Affairs Editor Armand Georgian. Armand, tell us more about the latest allegation and just how serious is this for Boris Johnson? Well, these, come, these allegations come from uh, Dominic Cummings, who's a controversial figure, of course, and some would say it's ironic that Dominic Cummings is talking about uh, someone else breaking the rules. But in any case... Uh, what he's saying does fit very much with existing revelations. Uh, Dominic Cummings in this tweet goes into quite some details. He sort of really breaks it down step by step. He says that the Prime Minister's personal private secretary invited people to a drinks party. Uh, the uh, the personal private secretary was told to cancel of the event, but he checked with the Prime Minister the Prime Minister said that it should go ahead. They both went to the party. That's the private secretary and the Prime Minister. It was actually a drinks party, Cummings goes on to say. And the Prime Minister repeatedly told MPs he had no idea about parties. In other words, he lied to Parliament. That's the that's what Cummings is saying here. And crucially, I think, Annette, he also says in this tweet, other eyewitnesses can confirm all of this. So I think that's very important because the inquiry that's looking into all of this it does very much have the remit to talk to all members of staff, to, to interview eyewitnesses. So all it takes now is for one of those other eyewitnesses that Dominic Cummings mentions here to corroborate what Cummings is saying for uh, MPs to then draw their own conclusions that indeed they were lied, lied to, in which case um, it's pretty hard to see how Johnson could go on at that point. So does the government have any plan to try and sort of find a way out of this ongoing crisis? Well, at the moment, it's it's really submerged by this crisis. There doesn't seem to be a really a, a way out. I mean, they did uh, launch these new proposals on Monday um, to uh, end the, the, the licence fee for the BBC, to use the Royal Navy uh, for patrols in the Channel, to stop the migrants coming in. Um, th this has been called Operation Save Big Dog or... Operation uh, Red Meat, uh, alternatively. It is, as the name suggests, throwing red meat to the Conservative Party base. The problem, Annette, is that um, the, the base actually wants Boris Johnson to continue as leader with or with, without red meat. So it doesn't really make much difference. There was that opinion uh, poll of Conservative Party members a few days ago, 63% of members saying they want him to stay. So with or without extra patrols in the channel doesn't really make much difference nor does Operation Red Meat. So far, it's not making any difference to voters who are not Conservative Party members, but who backed Boris Johnson in the last general election uh, and are now absolutely furious with him because of the double standards and the duplicity while they were making the sacrifices, not seeing their loved ones during lockdown and so forth. And certainly Conservatives MPs are reporting back a lot of fury. They were back in their constituencies this weekend, of course, and it seems that this is really not good going away. So whichever way the government turns now, whether it's to uh, Operation Save Big Dog or uh, levelling up or anything else, clearly that uh, trust that's been broken is going to colour pretty much everything going forward now. Armand George, and thank you for that.